Okay, this is the second part of the Microbits uh, Magic 8 Ball uh, video. And basically what we're going to do in this is we're going to continue with the Magic 8 Ball um, program that we created last time. And then we're going to add some button presses in it. Mostly just to experiment with the inputs on the, um, on the Magic 8 Ball. Okay, so again, like last time, you've got an option on how you program with the microbit. So you can either use the Python editor, so python.microbit.org, or you can use Moo. And again, I'm going to use Moo for this because it works well offline. Okay. Last lesson, we produced a basic Magic 8 ball. And again, this is a year 9 one um, produced by one of my students. And you can see that we started by importing the microbit module. We've imported the random module. We've created a list here, which includes a whole list of possible outcomes that can come from the Magic 8 Ball. And then we've created a while true loop, which calls the list and calls random choices from that list as options when we shake it. So if we just have a look at the Magic 8 Ball now, and we shake that, okay, you should see it comes up with an option on there at the moment. Okay. So that's where we imported the random modules. This is our list. Okay, and this is the loop. Now, what I want to do now is I want to try and improve this. Not necessarily to make it a better Magic 8 ball, but certainly to get work on pulling the other functions of the, um, of the micro bits in. And to do this, what we're going to start by doing is getting some options to appear when we press on the A and the B buttons. Okay? So we're going to use an ELIF statement for this because we've already created an IF statement. So we're saying if something's happening, ELIF is basically the same as else if. So it gives us an option to do some additional bits here. So if we just have a look back at our Magic 8 Ball program from last time, quite a simple one. What we're going to do here is we're going to add in some additional ones. We're going to say elif button, and again, we'll give you the options at the bottom. So we can say if button A is underscore pressed, one of the nice things with me for me is that uh, we can use some options. So one thing we can have, we can run through the same kind of idea here. We can still clear the display if we wanted. We can still put a sleep in. And we could now put in something like display, scroll, random choice, answers two. Now, the problem with that is there isn't an answers two. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to create a new answers list. An alternative to keep this simple for now is we can use display.show and we can pull in an image, either an existing image or an image that um, uh, we, we define further up. Now I'm just going to use duck for now to show that. The problem is, of course, if I flash that, I'll show you this. Okay, comes up with the eight. And now if we press on the A button here, okay, what should happen is that it should show me the image of the duck. See if that works. Okay, so if button A is pressed, okay, we should see an image of the duck. Okay, but what's happening is it's not um, it's not coming up. Now I think for the one of the reasons why that's happening. We go. I now flash that onto there. It comes up with the eight. Now I press on there. So the last input now into that should be the button A. Okay, and you can see it's not showing still. So no matter how much I'm pressing this, it's not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it actually is working now. Okay, but one of the reasons it's not working is that. Um, it's basically being asked to show for such a short amount of time. So what we can do here is we can put in something like sleep 1000, 2000, which will make it stay on for about two seconds. Now if I flash that again, you can see the flashing one to the back as it loads. And now if I press on here, the last gesture was the duck so it shows. And again, we can do the same thing with the other one. So we can add an LF button B dot was pressed. Okay, do the same thing. We clear the display. Try not to make lots of typos while I'm doing this. And we can do display.show. 
Okay, I'm gonna have something else here. Again, you can define your own, which makes it much more interesting, but that's a, a different session. And again, I'm gonna give this some time so it stays on. I'm gonna flash that again. So again, it shows the eight. And if we shake it, it comes up with our choices still, so we haven't got rid of that. I press reset on the back, just so we don't have to wait for too long for that. Press on the A, it shows a duck for about two seconds. I press on the B, she has an angry face for about two seconds. Okay, so you can see this while true loop is now got three options. We've got the if, we've got the else if, and we've got the else if. Now, that's one way we can improve the magic eight ball. But we've only got a limited number of buttons on the micro bit. We've got the A and the B button on the front, and we've got the reset button on the rear. However, there is another combination we can use. I'm just going to show you this now. So what we can do is we can make it use the A and B buttons together as a third button. But there's a few bits we need to do in order to do this, okay? The key thing here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two new variables called A and B, and we're gonna do those within the while true loop. So we're gonna say A, B equals button A press, button B press. So let's do that bit first, okay? So we're gonna say within the while true loop, after here, we're going to say A, B are equal to, and then we're going to put it within here. So we're going to say um, button A was pressed. Okay, and then for the B value, button B was pressed. Then close the bracket so that's all encased. Now the advantage now just to test this is we should now be able to just replace that with the variable A and that with the variable B. Okay, get rid of the extra bracket up in there for a second. Again, we'll flash this to test it. You can see it uploads. How many syntax error is a good start? If we press on the A button, we should get the duck. Press on the B button, we should get the angry face. Okay, so we've simplified it a little bit by using the variable at the top. So that's the first thing on here. But what we now need to do is we need to add in this if A and B display show, okay? So again, if we just go back onto the move program here, we're going to use this as another option here. So we're gonna say LF A plus B, okay? And we can now we can do basically exactly the same as we've done on any of the others. We can clear the display, we can do display.show, um, let's use a cow image for no reason whatsoever. And again, I'm going to put a sleep in there so it doesn't disappear immediately. Okay, and you should see what we've now got on here is we're using the A and B, okay, which is a small error I've just made there. So let's just quickly rectify that one because I did plus and it's an and in this case, and you'll see it lightens up like that. Let's flash that. So let's test it again. We press the A, we get a duck. Press the B, we get an angry face. Press the A and B together. See if we can get that to work again. We should get a cow. Okay, now the reason this isn't working, okay, is because of the sleep command. So what's happening here is it's not getting a chance to get both responses at once. And you can see here, we put the sleep in. So in order to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out that eight for now. Okay, just to show you that. We could remove that properly, or we could just comment that out for now just to test that. So I'm gonna flash that again. And we're gonna do a B, which comes up the angry face. Do an A, which comes up with the duck. Wait for that to go away. Anytime today. It's not gonna go away now, of course, because I've removed the uh, display show eight. Okay, if I press the B, it will clear it. We press both together. Okay. Okay, right, I'm gonna slight change here. Let's see if this works now, okay? So we press on it, we get the duck. Press and hold both again. So we've got the angry face at the moment, the duck. Ah, I've eventually got the cow there. So it's kind of scrolling through the options I've given it. So we press A, we get the duck. Press B, we get the angry face. Press them both together and hold them for a second. Okay, see if it gets there. Try this again. 
Okay, there we go. So it has come up with the cow. So we need to play around with that a bit, but you can see it is working. Okay, but I did make a change. So what I changed from the original code, the original I had LFA, LFB, and LFAB. I've changed it to if A and B. Okay, because it's a different if input. So this is if accelerate accelerometer. This is if A, this is if B, and this is if A and B. Okay, and you should see again just to show you that it's the same code. Flash it, lights up there, clears and then it should run okay and again if i just press on that i can get the angry face or i can get the duck or if i press them both together i should eventually get the cat oh there we go cool okay that's partly because of the delay on the settings right okay now this should make use of the two variables we've got here which are the a and the b and now this should allow you to complete the magic eight ball ensuring you've used the shake gesture, ensuring you've used the A and B buttons, and ensuring you've used the A and B buttons together. Okay?